everyone, Loza Gaming here again with episode 8 of Zombie on PlayStation 4. Last episode we had to fight uh, zombies in a Colosseum type game, thanks to some psychotic bastards who got what they deserved in the end. Unfortunately, too bad we didn't actually get to see it though. Um, now in this episode we will be looking for the last of these letters to give to the doc and hopefully make a cure. So let's get started with that. Proof that it's been survival mode the whole time. Fifteen thousand points, yes. Right, so it looks like the last three letters are in the Tower of London, which we'll hit first, Brick Lane Markets, and Brick Lane Flats. Now at the Tower of London, the letter is on the boat that we passed early on as we enter this area for the first time. Oh! <laughs> 
And there's the third last of D's letter. God, I love that pump action. Lighter, faster, cleaner than your average shotgun.
It's a little unfortunate I actually was hoping to avoid blowing up that wall. Forgetting that D's letter was there. Just to mention, as well as a bonus, there actually is not enough C4 to blow up every weak wall you come across. And one of the weak walls I have never passed was the uh, that in the underground palace, which I will show you after I collect D's letters. Now, the last of these letters may be a little difficult for some to find. I think I already mentioned it in just a previous episode. But the crow you see on the other side there... I'll just deal with this guy first. <laughs> This crow over here, you'll have to step back across from the glass and another hidden symbol. Yeah. 
<laughs> the trusty MP5. The best gun in the world for close crowd control. If you get my drift. Now behind here, there is a rage zombie who will die the moment you use C4. And even with the handgun ammo behind him, there's pretty much nothing else worth grabbing. Hence why I won't blow up that wall and save the C4 for... Dock slab in the palace underground. I'm sure I'll have it whipped up in no time. Thank you so much.
There you are. Christ, you have me worried being gone for so long. What the hell were you doing in there? Oh, oh, thank goodness. I have good news. The panacea is almost finished. <laughs> the bad news is it's a vaccine, not a cure. You must come quickly. <laughs> Meet me at the entrance to the Royal Quarters. I have security clearance. <laughs> the palace. A doctor. That's what you've been going back for. Working with a bloody laptop behind my back. How... how dare you? After all I've warned you about trusting scientists. They started this mess. Mucking about with viruses. Playing God. One big experiment in the Petri dish of life. And what did that quack sell you? A couple of aspirin? There is no cure, no panacea. Do you really think some lab coat could create a cure? And meanwhile, the safe house is vulnerable! You disappoint me. I thought we were partners. Prepper, out. Well, none of that sounds like good news, and unfortunately, the more extra bad news is that the episode is now over um seems we've disappointed the prepper and unfortunately there is no cure only a vaccine uh so the next episode will be going back to the palace to meet up with doc hopefully before he turns now, I've never actually met him, so I will point out in the next episode where it was I died, and how. Unfortunately, I won't have the footage this time for it. Um, so yeah, that's going to be pretty exciting, and I hope you guys will continue watching until then. Leave any comments, subscribe and like to my channel. Um, and yeah, ciao for now. Thanks.